Hey guys, it's Walden Light from Walden Light Baseball on Instagram and the founder of Build Baseball. Today we're going to be talking about maximizing your sleep quality and this is kind of a branch off of the q and I recently did on maximizing your focus and I'll leave that link in the description. So what I talked about with sleep is that it was a factor that could uh, assist you in boosting your energy which in effect uh, increases your focus during practice or during school or any area of your life for that matter so sleep just maximizing your sleep quality will help you be more energetic during the day so you can get more done and work towards your goals so the first thing I want to address with sleep uh, because it is not it's not a well-known fact about sleeping and it is commonly neglected when people talk about sleep but it's our brains go through sleep in 90 minute intervals so and there's lots of research to back this up they have studied brain waves of people during their sleep to test this and really it's just from 40 minutes from when you fall asleep you will be in a the deepest sleep possible in your sleep cycle and then after 90 minutes from when you fell asleep you'll be in a lighter stage of sleeping and just setting up how much you sleep per night based on 90 minutes, so whether that be seven and a half hours or uh, nine hours, it, it helps you wake up in a light stage of your sleep cycle so that it is easier to transition from sleeping to being awake so you're not drowsy during the morning and also just sets the tone for the day so you're more energetic throughout the day. So that's a, uh, that is a component of sleep that I want to address first. Uh, the rest of these are broken into three different categories, tuning their circadian rhythm, uh, designing a sleep environment and also preparing for bed. Your circadian rhythm is just the cycle at which you go through throughout the day and where your brain knows when it should be asleep and when it should be awake. And there's a few ways you can keep this cycle in check and make sure that you're supposed to be tired at the right hours and be energetic at the right hours. So one way you can do this is being exposed to natural light during the day. This just helps tune your brain in terms of like our evolution to be um, energetic during the day and during certain times like that and just because of our evolution like I said that is why it is like that for us this is an obvious one you probably heard it before but avoiding blue light within an hour of sleeping and blue light really just any screen that you may be looking at before bed even if you don't wake up in the middle of the night from it it can affect your sleep quality and you could be jeopardizing the quality of your sleep by using a phone or watching TV before you go to bed. Also, uh, drinking within an hour of bed, this is obvious because you wouldn't want to be waking up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom. Also, no caffeine within six hours before bed. After six hours of drinking coffee, the effects tend to fade. Um, so you don't want to have caffeine affect how fast you are able to go to sleep and the quality of your sleep. Also, sleep only at night, uh, a common mistake by a lot of student athletes is to take naps during the day, but this confuses your circadian rhythm because it makes it harder for you to go to sleep later when it is nighttime, and eventually it will just become habitual for you to be up until 2 a.m. because you take a nap after school or anything like that. Also, just remaining consistent can improve, can tune your circadian rhythm because if you go to sleep at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every morning, then you are going to tune your brain and just it will become a habit for you to feel tired at certain times and feel awake at certain times. Going into the next category for this is designing a sleep environment and just really um, things that you could do to your room to make sleep easier and also make it better so that you have more energy. So little light, you want to have as little light as possible, whether that be closing the curtains or closing the door. There's been studies shown that having a darker environment when sleeping makes it makes the sleep quality better. Most people find it hard to sleep with a light uh, with a lot of light in the room. So also you just closer to bed, you want to have a darker environment. So you don't want to be around not just blue light, but also just bright lights before you are about to go to sleep. Also, make your room as quiet as possible, although you can't really control cars driving by your house or people talking, walking down the street or anything like that, but you could definitely close the windows in your room or close the door. And also if you have a pet, 
or anything that makes noise in your room, it would be good to remove that from your um, sleeping environment to make sure you don't wake up in the middle of the night and also so your sleep cycles aren't interrupted in that way. Also, keep your room cooled. Studies have shown that sleeping in a cooler environment, it is correlated with better sleep. And a lot of people feel like that, that sleeping in a cooler room helps them fall asleep. This can vary um, based on the individual. Some people like to sleep in a warmer environment and that really, that can affect it. But for the most part, uh, studies have shown that sleeping in a cooler environment is better for sleep quality. Also, prepare for bed. What you would want to do before bed is you would want to avoid meals, especially with carbs, uh, especially big meals too, but you would want to avoid car uh, meals with a lot of carbs because they increase your uh, blood sugar so that you have more energy during the time after you eat. So if you eat close to falling asleep, then you're going to have more energy then, and that can mess with your uh, circadian rhythm. Also, journaling is a good strategy to use before bed because you can uh, clear your mind and get all your thoughts out before falling asleep so you're not uh, laying in bed awake at night thinking about random thoughts that may be popping in your head. Also meditation is a good way to do this. You could lay in bed and just focus on your breath and that will get you focused on one thought instead of being distracted by all these thoughts coming in and out of your head and so meditation can help you focus just by taking deep breaths and focusing on your breath and that can also help you relax which can lead to you falling asleep faster. So that's all I want to talk about with maximizing sleep quality. Check out my Instagram Walden Light Baseball and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content and go to buildbaseball.com for tutorials, drills, routines, and more. Thank you guys for tuning in and remember you only have one.